Hey, White Rook 85 here. Uh, put the Thompson Center Omega inline muzzle loader away and got out the Thompson Center New Englander. Uh, this is a cap lock. Not sure if Thompson Center makes this one anymore. I'm, uh, they might, but they might not with the synthetic stock, or it's either that or they may make a Hawken, which is similar. Uh, tell you the truth, can't remember when I got it. It's been a little while now. Um, but as we can see, uh, we're starting to be a little bit more traditional with this one. This is a cap lock again, not a flint lock, but a cap lock. And uh, show you a little bit of a difference. Uh, had my box out full of stuff. Uh, here's our inline, uh, our powder. And again, for the inline, we use the Pirate X, and our powder is actually foreign pellets. And our primer, of course, was the, uh, and there it is there, is the 209 shotgun primer. And here I have, of course, the, the rip cord uh, for speed loader for in the field. So moving over to the more traditional, uh, you need a little bit more uh, gear. Uh, not too, too much more, but a little bit more. Uh, again, we're using loose powder, so we have a uh, Pyrodex, and then again, this is the RS FFG equivalent, loose powder. Not sure if you can hear it shaking in there. But you take your loose powder and you pour it into your, your flask, your powder flask, as you notice all of these are brass uh, to eliminate sparks. That's why they're brass. And a little bit of a uh, uh, five in one tool. Uh, this this is probably something you want to pick up too. I'll, I'll show you in a little bit all the things we can do with that. Uh, but here, uh, instead of shooting the more traditional projectile out of it, uh, we're going to go with the the maxi balls, the Thompson Center maxi balls. This is a little bit on the old school. Again, this has the bore butter uh, in the in the uh, bullet itself packed in there from the factory. Uh, these are 370 grains, so we're going to go ahead and use those. Have some speed loaders set up. Uh, we do basically the same. Let's see. We have the uh, powder in here. Here's we have our powder on one end, and as you can see, the bottom of our projectile on the other. So we would just go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll show you that in a sec. But uh, here, you can have to measure your own powder out. Uh, have a, have a uh, plastic powder measure here. This is also a powder measure. If we wanted to use this for this, you unscrew this thing. Again, this is a, I don't know, six and one, say eight and one tool. But this is actually a powder measure also. Uh, and it says on the container what, uh, what each particular line is. But I also have this one. Uh, because it does have the lines marked on there. I'm not sure if you can see or not, uh, but I have it set at 100 grains. So we can take our powder and load her up. Start dropping that in. Oops, a little bit too much. But that's okay. And we'll just shake off the rest. So we know we have our 100 grains. And we'll load that up very similar to what we did with the other one. And again, I checked this to make sure it was unloaded by dropping a ramrod down there and seeing how far it went. So I know it's unloaded. So we'll go ahead and again hold it away from your face in case there's some hot embers in there. And we'll just go ahead and knock that powder in. Now with the, these type of, of uh, muzzle loaders, you want to give it a little bit of tap to settle that powder down in there a little bit. Of course, you, 
with your uh, Pirate X pellets, don't need to do that, but you do need to tap that down a little bit. Take one of these big balls, start to get him started a little bit, and again that boar butter will come off, that's okay. Get a ball starter, you can push it down, and then the rest of the way, pretty easy the first time through. And a ramrod. And push it down onto the powder. So, pretty easy, that was pretty easy the first, again, first time as they start getting a little bit dirtier. So we're charged. We're not loaded, but we're charged. Uh, we'll stop for a second, get some of this off the table, and go ahead and shoot that. Alright, we're just about ready to, uh, to go ahead and take a shot. Just want to uh, show you one difference between the cap lock and the inline. And here are the primer. Here's our, gosh, our shotgun 209 primer on the left. And here's our cap lock primer on the right here. You can see the difference in the size. So how much, how much difference uh, spark you're getting out of one or the other. So uh, it's a big difference between this inline and this 201 primer, or the 209 primer compared to the, uh, just the cap lock uh, primer itself. That's uh, pretty teeny. Uh, this right here, uh, this tool is for go ahead and actually put in a cap onto your uh, nipple right there. Uh, you load it up by dropping them in through here like this. You just spring load it, pull it back a little bit, just drop it in there and they're set and ready to go. So let me go ahead and sit down. Again, I'm going to pull our hammer back and take our tool and just put it right on, slide off, and we're set, ready to go. I'll go back onto half cock again. So we're set and ready. I'll set up for my shot and we'll go ahead and see what this can do. This again, this is uh, iron sights, so not scope aided. This is single trigger on this one, not the double trigger, but single trigger. So uh, let's go ahead and pull the hammer back and, and give it a shot. Pull our hammer back, knock our cap off. And you can see our cap's pretty well split there. And again, if I was speed loading on this, I was trying to get a, a quick reload. Again, make sure that you, uh, when you're dropping that powder in, you want to keep that, keep that away from your face because if there's any hot embers in there, you drop that powder in. Just want to keep it away from your face. Yeah, you may get some flame out of there, your hand, but at least you're not going to be over there doing something like this. So you make sure, especially on your reloads like that, keep that away from your face. So I'm going to take a walk down, see where I hit, and load it up, take a couple more shots. Oh, we took our one shot. It was a little bit on the low side. Again, iron sights, about 60-some yards. Uh, go ahead and take another shot. Uh, here's the speed loader that I have for the Hawken, or New Englander, excuse me. So I'll pop the top. And drop our powder in. And again, as you can see, I was holding it away from my face. Do a little tap. And then we have our ball on the other side, or in this case, maxi ball. 
You just center it. And push it right through. Take our ramrod or field rod. And load her up. So we are charged. Got a cap on there. We'll take another shot. Nice white smoke. Just loosening up the cap on there. We'll go down and check our target. It's uh, four, four and four. So we'll have to see if we can do better than that. Certainly not what I would want, at least for the for this. I would want a little bit more in the at least two by two square. So uh Take another shot. So we'll see if we can do a little bit better with the next shot. Take a walk down, see where that one went. Wait. So here's our shot. This is more what I was looking for. And again, I haven't shot that in probably 10 years or so. So take a, for a takes a little bit of getting used to. Again, the iron sights, everybody's a little bit used to used to scopes these days, so uh, taking me a little bit to walk it in. But I think I'm getting in there. And as we can see, these are pretty straight in there. They're not tumbling, so we're getting a, we're getting a good shot. Here's my second two shots, so I'm, I'm about in there now. I feel pretty comfortable with this. As we can see, we're certainly within that three-inch group. And again, 60-something yards, I hope to be a little bit closer 
some of the spots that we hunt at, uh, you, you can't see 60 something yards. So uh, it'll probably be a lot closer than that. We're in the 30 to 40 range. Uh, but this at 60, feel pretty comfortable with that. Knowing it's shooting high, if I uh, saw something even a little bit farther, I know I could just hold on, hold it right on, and uh, probably go out to 80 yards if I could uh, see the target well. So uh, this is White Rook 85 with the Thompson Center New Englander cap lock. And again, 60-something yards, not bad. And we're signing out from Camp Go Time, deep in the woods, Pennsylvania.